Hi! Welcome back to our RimWorld Vanilla playthrough series. So when we left off, we planned out this wall. So just so that we have a defense against raiders. And we have this long tunnel so that uh, we can buy time and ready our colonists to kill them. And that's pretty much it. I think I'm planning. I'm planning to do. I'm planning today that we're gonna build a fridge because our food supply is running, running low. And we're gonna we're gonna need to build a nutrient paste dispenser. Uh, primarily, primarily because we want to avoid food poisoning, and and basically because co food poisoning slows down our colonists, and we don't want that. So let's just plan out a rough, uh, rough foundation of where our kitchen will be, our dinner dining dining spot and our fridge just, let's just build an adequate size uh, fridge next to this mountain over here so that we can save a little bit of resources uh, so this is our fridge and next to it is gonna be our dining dining room just a small dining room, we don't need a palatial one since uh, it's not really needed. Although, if we have a big dining room, it will increase our colonist moods. Uh, but we're gonna worry about that later on. For now, let's worry about. Uh, stabilizing our colony for now. So let's just follow these uh follow this plan that we made. Uh, we're gonna build it uh, uh we're gonna build it out of um granite just so that uh, it could last longer and more sturdier than wood. There we go. We want to leave a uh, this space here so that we could place our nutrient paste dispenser uh, just like probably just like this yeah I'd say that's pretty good and let's put uh, some hoppers on its back and we're gonna let Ramon build this very quickly if he stop building this wall looks like Sarah is cutting some chunks uh, let's set it to cut uh, granite granite block because we're gonna want to replace this wall here with granite so that it's not flammable and more sturdier all of our walls actually we're gonna replace them uh... where's Ramon? he's still building this wall that's not um disturb him because this wall is pretty important because if they don't want to get in here or they spawn here uh, that would be dangerous because this is pretty close to our base and we don't want that to happen looks like our crops are not fully grown yet that's kind of annoying 
because we're running out of food. We only have 22 packaged survival meals. Luckily, we have Brittany over here, just minding her own business. <laughs> uh, let's also place a cooler here, so that we can cool the place down. Uh, pretty much. Uh, Pretty much instantly. And let's also place a couple of generators here. Straight beside this uh, horseshoe thing. And looks like there's a local raccoon that has gone mad. Let's uh, draft Sarah and Ramon. Over here, uh, let's have him over here instead. Oop. It's pretty, it's getting uncomfortably close to us. That's alarming. Oop. Looks like Ramon shot it in the body. That's that's awesome! He one shot at that guy. And we also have uh, food that we could butcher up. So let's uh let's set up a butchering table here. That's always nice. Let's set this bed uh, to Sarah and Ramon because they want to sleep together I'm probably guessing I do want to build a wind turbine here but unfortunately it's pretty tight like I can't place place it here without uh, deconstructing this horseshoe spin and that's their only source of recreation let's uh, let's uh, build a table here and place dining chairs all around it Probably not. Uh, and so this too, because that's gonna be their pathway towards the um, trade paste dispenser, and we don't want to obstruct the way. Uh, let's also set up these walls around the dining room. Now that. Uh, this uh, this part of the mountain is closed. This part of our base is clo This part of our base is closed. Uh, the enemies are now uh, will now pass fine uh, over here, and it, it'll be much more easier to defend defend against. So that's always nice. That's also. Uh, set a growing zone over here uh, and uh, let's have Sarah plant uh, trees because we are going to need a ton of wood uh, oh we don't uh, have the tree sowing research yet uh, that's forbid that for now uh, in the meantime we could grow uh, some corn uh, corns have a large 
yield field so when we harvest them uh, it's gonna give out uh, a ton of resources other than rice although rice is pretty quick to grow uh, corn is rather slow but it will give out uh, a ton of corn so let's just uh, set this growing zone for corn that's pretty low that's large enough and yeah let's wait uh, for the mor morning to, to come So looks like uh, Une has finished researching solar panels and our next research should be batteries and let's add uh, free sewing next. Ramon is building things quite slow. That's probably because yeah, of this car, I think, but I don't think that, ooh, okay, I've been interrupted. Uh, what should our faction be called? I think I'm gonna call, I'm just gonna, just gonna randomize and see what is a good name for a faction a moral coalition of northwest Strassen. Hmm. that's uh, pretty good I would say let's just randomize this one Casa Piedra that sounds cool so let's get our Faction name and local settlement. These things. So, click OK. The faction is now known as Moral Coalition of North West Swasen, and this community is now known as Casa Piedra. Uh, cool! Cool! Uh, looks like Brittany is eating the raccoon meat. Uh, that's not really much of a problem as long as we can keep Brittany safe uh, we are good so let's just uh, mine, mine this slate out so that we we have a uh, big space for our bridge let's set a stop file zone just on the floor, uh, set uh, the settings to important, and let's this allow rotten foods. Don't want that in our fridge. Everything that's manufactured, except for drugs and medicine, uh, raw resources, everything except for plant matter. Uh, in the items, we're gonna. This allow everything except for the natural body parts because we want them. We don't. We want to keep it refrigerated so that it's not uh, deteriorate, deteriorating. Uh, let's uh, this allows this three and let's edit our common stockpile. So that uh, they won't place the food that we get uh, here. So let's uh, just allow this. Just allow that. Uh, also, this one. And that, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, also, we are going to allow corpses here. Uh, not, uh, I don't think we're gonna allow human-like corpses because we don't want our colonists to have a mood debuff because when they see a 
corpse lying around here, especially in our fridge, they are gonna get a mood debuff, and that will cause them to have a mood break, and we don't want that because mood mood breaks are uh, takes a long time, and we don't want that. Ooh, looks like we have an Imperial Priest Transport Pod ca Crash. And he's from the Fallen Empire. It's pretty far. Let's see her traits. Looks like he's uh, in in her early twenties. She's good at melee. Uh, she is an intellectual, but she has the trait. Uh, chemical interest is bad. We don't want that. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll let her die. We don't need her. We don't want a colonist who has a uh, chemical interest. And looks like Sarah is done sewing this place. So that's pretty quick. And we have our first harvest of rice. That's always good. And looks like Ramon is about to finish the construction of the dining room. So that's that's great. That's great. And uh, let's. Let's replace these wooden walls with um, probably late blocks because we want to preserve uh, the granite blocks so that we could replace uh, our walls. So uh, let's uh, let's wait to for Ramon to. Build, uh, build this bridge. Why are they not transferring the medicine? Uh, yeah. Is it because? Uh, oh yes. I did not uh, prioritize hauling on that.
Although nutrient paste meals give a mood debuff, uh, we won't be getting food poisoning from it, so that's always a plus. And it gives out more meals than regular cooking, so uh, it's pretty overpowered when you think about it. So let's uh, let's play a solar panel here and uh, place power conduits all over this ball or place Cancel that, and we can't re uh, reinstall this generator. That's unfortunate because I want to place it here. Let's just uh, deconstruct this and install another one. Hopefully, that will give us back the materials that we consume looks like Ramon is about to finish and Sarah is harvesting our rice and looks like he's building the wall. Uh, huh. Let's uh, force him to work. Oh, we need steel. But we have steel. We have steel. Uh, it's probably not enough. So let's find a steel ore. Like I have found a dead doe. Still fresh. Probably got killed by this cougar. So let's uh, set this um, steel ores to get mine. Mind the steels. Looks like we are getting our second raid. Is it our second or first? I can't remember. Probably our first, and looks like it, it's a naked from the Rinya tribe. Looks like. Ooh, the traits are pretty bad. He only has the skill of planting, although it's high, but it's his only skill, and we don't want that. Uh, let's set Sarah and Ramon to draft. Attack it immediately, so we need to be ready. Uh, let's sit in here behind this play chunks. It looks like I could go through doors that are unclaimed. Uh, I'm gonna block that off. That's annoying. Holy crap. I'll uh, run it. It looks like it has taken a shot in in the torso. Come on, 
Nice. Got a clean hit from Ramon. Yep, red soul red shoulder. And another one from Sarah. From the neck. Come on. Nice. Looks like uh, Ramon got the final hit from the left leg. Uh, I think I'm gonna finish this guy off. Looks like we can't. Uh, we're just gonna let him die. Generator. And let's have her chop down some trees. Uh, let's not uh, replace the generator because it's a waste of time. Looks like Unai is calling the dead soul. Is she butchering it? Yeah, he is. She is, I mean. Look at that. And looks like it gave us 51. Neat. That's nice. That's nice. And, uh, Amon is calling to build the walls over here. Let's create a dumping stockpile zone uh, just over here, I would say. 9 by 9. That should be uh, enough. Let's have them haul the limestone chunks over here. Looks like uh, they are. Uh, we are doing pretty well. And we are about to finish researching the batteries. And oh my god, I forgot to set. Uh, the temperature that could that could be deadly or fatal because the meat are spoiling as you can see and our wood fire generator is gonna run out of fuel in about 2.5 days which is plenty of time for us to gather wood and looks like we have a lot of those. Look at that. A lot of um, trees around here. And looks like we have Brittany, oh my god, why are you sleeping over there? Uh, let's set uh, an animal area for Brittany. Uh, just over here. Just inside our base so that she is pretty secure. Let's set uh, it like this. Very sorry if this uh, takes a while. Let's, let's, not, let's not allow this area 
a bit I need to walk into because that's gonna be that's gonna be where our colonist is gonna be killing raiders and we don't want Brittany to get involved in the shooting. gonna bother digging up a grave for this guy. We have the runtime GC in game cleaner. Uh, basically just so that um, I could run the game much more uh, much more smoothly than before. Basically it's, it, it, it just uh, cleans out the the dirt and snow on top of that oh wait yeah, yeah, yeah it uh... it allows us to remove corpses in the map so that's always a good good thing looks like Sarah is hauling uh... some stuff over here I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, I know it's pretty short, but I will have another episode up, I think, pretty soon. So that's gonna be it. Thank you for joining me, and have a nice day. This room is hazy, no words are said These lights are blinding, all black and red Won't you save me from myself?